Hi, this is David Harper, Bionic Turtle. I'd like to briefly illustrate a barrier stock option, which is an exotic stock option. The key difference between a barrier and a regular stock option is that we have an additional term here called H, in addition to S, the stock price, and K, the exercise or strike price. Both of those attached to a regular option. We also have here H, which is the barrier level. So there's two basic kinds of barriers, a knock-in or a knock-out option. In the case of a knock-in, if we consider this is the strike price here at time zero, then the barrier option in the case of a knock-in option does not exist initially until the stock, if we go forward in time, breaches the barrier level here shown by H. Once the stock breaches the barrier level here, the option is knocked into existence. So let's say dark blue here, and then that becomes an option with a strike price of K. And so it's at this point that it's knocked in, that it's like a regular option, but it has to cross the barrier. So the knock-in option is cheaper to the buyer of the option, so this is the appeal. There's going to be a lower premium. Now it also, if we put the stock back here, and instead start with the option in existence, we could have a knock-out option. So again, we still have a barrier level and a strike price associated with the option. So, but this time, if the stock, we go forward in time and the stock increases and breaches the barrier level given by H, now the stock option is knocked out of existence because it crossed the barrier. And so you can see why this knockout option is definitely cheaper than the analogous regular call option. Those were examples of up and in and up and out barrier options. We can also have down and in and down and out variations of barrier options. So now in this case, if we talk about a barrier option that is a knockout option or specifically a down and out option, then if the stock starts here and let's say goes down and breaches the barrier in the case of the down and out, then the option here gets knocked out of existence. And on the other hand, we could, I'll put the stock back, we could have a down and in option. And in this case, it's a knock in option such that if the stock goes down, breaches the barrier level H, then the option is knocked into existence. So that's a down and in option. So we had both a knockout option or a knock in option. Each variation has an up and in or an up and out or a down and in or a down and in sub down and out sub variation. So that's a brief illustration of the barrier option. David Harper, Bionic Turtle, thanks for your time.